What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you my Lego Pip-Boy 2000 I built for the upcoming release of Fallout 76. A Pip-Boy is an arm mounted computer that you wear in the Fallout games and I've designed my Lego version to be life size and as accurate as possible. This particular model in Fallout 76 is the Pip-Boy 2000 Mark VI which is made up of different modules, including a holotape player and calendar, a working screen, a Geiger counter to display the radiation level, a couple of glowing vacuum tubes, and a radio. So let's take a better look at each of these sections. Starting at the top, there's a raised compartment with some panels and a button. And below that is the screen, which displays information such as the player's stats, inventory and radio. This is made functional with the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy app, which I've loaded onto a phone that's built into the model. Under the screen is the holotape player, which can be opened up to reveal a holotape built out of a few simple pieces. This can be closed back up to play the tape, where you can see the calendar and the clock that show a shortened version of the date and time. And this is made out of some printed one by one number tiles. Next, we'll take a look at the right side of the Pip Boy, where the radio is located. The speakers are reinforced by some protective bars surrounded by the new round quarter tile pieces. I've used two 1x1 plates to represent the screws that hold the panel on. And for the radio frequency dial, I've used a printed 1x4 tile from a Lego ruler, which I think is a pretty cool part usage. Underneath the radio is a telephone style cord that connects the radio to the rest of the electronics. I made this out of a bunch of steering wheels threaded onto a Lego fishing rod string, which makes it look just like a telephone cord. And then on the side is a switch, as well as a knob that can be turned to tune the radio. Now moving up, you can see the two old fashioned vacuum tubes inside the mesh cage that protects them. This cage, made from fence pieces, continues in a rectangle all the way around, just like the one in game. The valves light up with the help of these orange LEDs that flicker for added effect. They are powered by a watch battery hidden inside the back of the radio and as you can see they look especially cool in the dark. Above the vacuum tubes is the Geiger counter which has a similar design to the radio panel where there's a printed tile from a ruler surrounded by round light grey tiles on the top. To the right are three buttons to access the stats, items and data sections of the Pip-Boy program and these are backed by silver studs to create a metallic appearance. The in-game version has some thin wires coming out of the Geiger counter which I've represented with blue, red and green minifigure hands. The other side has another turnable dial in front of an exposed screw and the top is rounded off at the back with this interesting design. Ok so now that we've seen the details on the front, let's take a look at the rest of it. To create the padding, I've used a combination of both smooth and wooden log style brown bricks to create a feel of the textured felt effect. Like the in-game pit boy my Lego one opens up at the back and can be secured around the arm with a separate strap that connects to the bottom of the model. You can see this from both sides, as well as the metal clasp at the bottom. The final result is a secure and sturdy model which fits comfortably around the arm. So that concludes a look at my LEGO Pip-Boy 2000, and be sure to check out my other LEGO Fallout creations linked in the description below. Let me know what you thought of my Pip Boy in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed it. I'll be back next time with some more LEGO creations. Thanks for watching.